You're watching Super Mario GVT. And now, Pop Tropica Road Trip. All aboard the mystery train! Hello, it's Hyper Eel, and welcome to the next episode of Pop Tropica Road Trip. In this episode, we're going to go through Mystery Train Island with a full walkthrough and full audio commentary. Mystery Train Island is about you solving a mystery while riding a train to go somewhere. Okay, let's begin the island. You drop down a main street, run to the left, and here you'll speak to Thomas Edison. He needs help getting his luggage onto the train. Now all you have to do is create a ramp by rearranging the items from smallest to biggest, or from shortest to tallest. Once you've done that, you'll be given a train ticket, so you'll have access to the train. Once you're on the train, the first thing you have to do is talk to the passengers on the train. You will get a telegram by George Ferris. Here's Nikola Tesla. Susan B. Anthony. Gustav Eiffel. Eric Wees The New York Times reporter Mark Twain You'll pick up a pencil on your way Madame Maru, known as the Le Monde Reporter Once you've met all the passengers, speak to Thomas Edison. He will unveil an incredible new device that captures motion pictures. And it works. And just as Thomas and Edison left the cabin, a cutscene shows a train going through the tunnel. And that caused the lights to go out. then back on, but suddenly, the device that was on the machine mysteriously disappeared. Who took it? That's the question everyone is asking. You had to be a detective while riding this train to solve a mystery. 
That's why it's called Mystery Train. First, go to the New York Times reporter and speak to him about the motion picture device. He says he saw Mark Twain hiding something in a secret compartment in his cabin. Let's go inside Mark Twain's cabin and speak to Mark Twain himself. Ask him about his secret compartment. But he doesn't have a secret compartment. And you just want to look around. All you do is click on the thumping part of the wall. And when you open up, you'll find a manuscript for the adventures of Huckleberry Finn that Mark Twain is writing. He didn't want anyone to see it until it's finished. But Edison's device isn't present. Then, you notice that the train is stopping. Once you're out of the train, talk to the train conductor, George Ferris, and the New York Times reporter. Once you've done that, you'll go back on the train and resume the ride. Once you're in the luggage car, you'll find coal sweaters on this trunk. When you look through, a pair of scissors will be thrown towards you because you were stooping around. You'll pick up the scissors and the coal sweaters on the trunk will be put in your detective log. Now head back to the coal car and speak to the coal man and show him the coal smudges on the trunk. He says he did leave to get a snack, but he didn't go near the luggage. So it looks like the coal man didn't stop the train but the train stopped because he wanted to leave to get a snack. Now, you ought to go ask the porter. The porter is in the dining car. While on your way, you'll notice some drops of prune juice. Did somebody order prune juice? Let's go find out. Head to the dining car and talk to the porter. Ask him about the prune juice. He will tell you that he can't tell you what the passengers ordered because it's confidential information. So he will discard this order sheet from the notepad. You'll pick up the porter's notepad and you'll notice that there's an imprint. Use your pencil and scribble all over it to reveal some writing. And it turns out Nikola Tesla ordered prune juice. Or possibly. So let's go to Nikola Tesla's cabin. But before you do, talk to the porter again and ask him about the coal man leaving the train to get a snack. Now head right. In the luggage car you'll find the the reporter. She will tell you to be just like the porter by putting on the porter's clothes. There's an outfit inside the porter closet. Let's go in. Now grab the porter's outfit. Now you'll have to 
put it on. So now that you look like the porter on the train, let's go to Nikola Tesla's cabin. So head right. Go to Nikola Tesla's cabin, ask him if he ordered prune juice. Inside, pick up the jug of fru prune juice and you will serve him prune juice. After a few cups, Nikola Tesla will need to use the bathroom. Now, all you do is look around Tesla's cabin to find the key. On the top right, there is a screen where Tesla's going to the bathroom and back. Once you found the luggage key, Tesla will return to his cabin. Now leave. Now head back to the luggage car. Use your key to unlock the trunk. And when you look inside, you'll find the motion capture device. So now Tesla has been accused for stealing it. But he said he didn't do anything to him and he had no idea how that got in the trunk. He's innocent now. So now you'll go to Thomas Edison's cabin. He will tell you the whole story of what happened to the motion capture device and who stole it. You thought it was Tesla, only it wasn't him. But there's somebody else who's on the loose. And that somebody else is the thief. Now you ought to go talk to Tesla. In the middle of the luggage car, there's a hatch. Climb up it. I know reach the rooftop of the train car. Here, you ought to dodge bags and tunnels. Now you'll get into the coal car. When you reach Tesla, give him the pencil. And he will give you a sketch of what his cabin looked like when they locked him up. Now, let's go to Tesla's cabin. Use a sketch, and you'll do a spot the difference mini game. The only part that's different is the briefcase. You'll find that it's open, but who opened it? Now you have to talk to Tesla and speak to him about the briefcase that just opened. Like before, get on the hatch and you'll reach the rooftops. Watch out for obstacles. Now head in the coal car. Go talk to Tesla and speak to him about how somebody opened the briefcase. And he says the key is still around his neck.
Let's go to Eric Wee's cabin, talk to Eric Wee's himself, and speak to him about the briefcase. He will act very strangely. In the second Vicar area, talk to the New York Times reporter, ask him about Eric Weiss's odd behavior, and he will notice that Eric Weiss has another name, Harry Houdini. When you return to Eric Weiss's cabin, you'll find a set of log picks. Pick it up. Then, Harry Houdini, Eric Weas, will come in. Now he wants you to catch him. Go through the hatch. Now you'll have to go from rooftop to rooftop. Now you'll appear inside a car with all this stuff. Harry Houdini is inside a water tank. You'll need to use the lock picks to free him before he runs out of air. Use the lock picks and adjust them to the red line. You can do it in any order you want. Now Eric Weas or Harry Houdini was not the thief either, but like I said before, there is still someone else who's the thief, and it's on the loose. Now to go find Tesla and ask what he is hiding. Now, go up the hatch. Now, when we reach rooftop, go down the coal car and talk to Tesla. Now you have to free him using the lock picks. Like before, adjust the lock picks to the red line. Now he will tell you that he's carrying a small transformer and he's hiding it.
Tesla was carrying his ball transformer to power the Ferris wheel, he'll give you a transformer sketch. Now you've talked to everyone on the train, except for somebody else in the last car. Pass by all the train cars. When you reach the Pinkerton agent car, you'll have to avoid the machinery to avoid waking him up. Once you go past him, you'll reach the presidential suite car. You'll run into Grover Cleveland. He's been trying to solve this mystery. So now that you have all the evidence, let's put them together. When the lights went out, Nikola Tesla's PBs are at his door while holding a glass of prune juice. When you hear Edison coming back, he ran and sloshed the juice over the sides of his glass. So it turns out he wasn't stealing the device, he was only curious about it. Then, the train was stopped because somebody stopped it as a distraction. And the cold sweats were put on the trunk. The thief then threw the key into Tesla's cabin so no one would open it. The briefcase was open, but we spotted the difference. After the discussion, Grover Cleveland will tell you that if you take a closer look at the trunk that you opened from before when you found the device, you will find who the thief truly is. Back in the luggage car, use the key one more time on the trunk. Inside you'll find full of things from France. So it turns out the thief must be from France. And there's some passenger who is French, Gustave Eiffel. Speak to Gustave Eiffel about things you found in the trunk. And it turns out the thief is the Le Monde reporter known as Mademoiselle Moreau. Just then the train stopped because you arrived at the fair. Now you'll need to take her down before the fair is destroyed. Now you arrive at the fair. The chase is on! In this section, you'll have to avoid the guards. 
how to jump on the lions once they're fed. Now while bouncing from rooftop to rooftop, dodge the juggling objects. Climb on to the top of the snake. Then head left. Inside, you'll find three dancers. Now continue past them. And there is the Lemonde reporter again. She'll head left. So now you'll have to follow him. Jump from statue to statue. When you reach the last one, the guards will knock them down. Now, chase the Lamonda reporter up. She will then throw Tesla's transformer. Now you'll have to catch it before it breaks. Once you caught it, you will confront Mademoiselle Moru. When you do, a lightning strike will knock herself off balance and into a water tank. Now you'll have to give George Ferris, the Transformer. Now, talk to President Grover Cleveland and he will give you a Presidential Medal of Honor, which is the Island Medallion. This is the end of Mystery Train Island. Stay tuned for more Pop Tropica Road Trip episodes. What is one thing that you struggle in Mystery Train Island?